Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Marmoset, and we're back in City Skyline with the town, city, metropolis now of Animalia. And what are we going to be doing in this episode? Well, I've been looking at my metro lines. You can see the weaves we've got here. So we've got the long loop which goes around the edge. We've got our short little connection to our industry over here. Another connection out to our new industrial zone, spider industrial over here. I was thinking, what I'd really like to do is basically just improve it. Short and simple, I would like there to be more of my network. So what we're going to be doing is pausing while we've got a large number of cash and essentially looking at where we can increase the amount of stations we've got. Now, first up, what I would like to do is essentially put in a loop that goes around Starfish Shores and then connect that up to the rest of this unit. So one of the things I want to do first up is turn this into a six-way station. So we have our six-way platform. Now, I've been playing around with other bits and pieces on this, and I've generally discovered that it is easier to place a station in, patch the network to said station, and then move the lines around, rather than trying to do it the other way of deleting a station. You end up having to rebuild your lines, which is kind of annoying. Um, so I don't necessarily want to have to do that. So, the space is already occupied. So let's start putting in our stations. So, that's pretty good positioning there. So there's our new station that's going to go here. And then we will connect that in by simply doing a quick plug like this. And then we go to the roots and we simply drag our roots over. So now we can finally delete that section track and we've not disturbed things too badly. So the next bit we need to do is plug in the station that's going across ways. Alright, so just double check. Yeah, okay. So what we'll do is plug in the route that goes across ways. So we're going to be connecting this. No, okay. Slope too steep. Can we go with the deeper one? Yes, we can. And then grab our roots thing and pull that down onto over here. Grand. So now we have an isolated station. So now we need to think about where could potentially could we move that so it will be of use elsewhere. So I'm thinking about basically taking this station, uh, or this line of this station, and turning it into a loop that's going going around here. Now, one thing that has been heard of me is that I could connect these two into one long line. Now, I'm going to make it one long line. I'm going to connect it and have it have a hub in the middle, so the two basically meet in the middle and they diverge in different directions. So, I've got having got this station, what I can do is move it, and I can put it on the corner over here. Like so, and while I'm here, connect it so that people can quite quickly walk across. Do I have a bus route that goes past? Yes. So, if we grab the bus routes, get rid of that stop, place it there. Yeah, I'm happy with the location of... Can I get that stop any closer? Nope, I'm happy with the location of that. So, then we've got this. So, I want tunnel. I would like to connect there to there. And I would like to connect there to there. Now we grab our roots. Drag that one to that station. So this is now not connected. But I can quite quickly solve that by dragging and dragging. Now we're over here, and now we will grab this one and park it in on that side. Now that should, because of the, sh the way the train's using the tracks, I mean, they never actually meet and get in each other's way. And then we can drag that route. So now we've got stationed there and there. So now we want to 
<clears throat> carry on putting the rest of the stations in on the loop on Starfish Shores. Don't think any of these need to be connection ones immediately. So what I do want to do is there's a huge great big gap along here. So let's put a station in at the center of this part of the Starfish Shores. Now it is going to be, so it comes down to here, and then it will be coming over here. So we'll put a station in angle conveniently, come up to here. Space already occupied by, I'm assuming, someone else's important building. Go there, up, around, and now we want to come into here. So this area already has two stations, reasonably good locations serving it. One in the middle, okay, that sounds fine by me. Now, I've only got one connection point for this loop with this line. So something I am going to look at doing is one of the new stations I do have is a double platform. So what I am going to do is down here, let's put it on, let's see if we can put it here. Does that work? Put it close to this entrance. I don't really want to get in the way of that, which I inevitably will do. Hmm. I actually want it. So you're that way on that road, and that way on that road. Okay. There isn't a road that goes across there. There's a path. Okay. Space already occupied, yes. Mm -hmm. So let's put it there. Do it before with patching the root in. Is that connecting or not? Come on. I sorry, I want to have an absurdist line. I don't mind if it has weird kinks in it. So, right, so I'm going to end up going up and under or around with this one. Hmm. Do I want that line or do I want a cross? I think what I want is a cross rather than this one. So what I will do is I will move said station. Now I am thinking about putting something interesting in over here. Ah oh yes, the Avery. Let's put you here for now. I have plans on reorganizing this station over here. We'll go back and we will grab our... Oh, I've got one that goes twists the other way, so it's parallel to the road. Alright, well, I, because I want them to cross over, and these guys, I believe, are at the same height, yeah. I will take the cross-based one. And put it there. So now I can quickly... Patch in. Part of the connection, grab the root, that side of the line, there we go. Of course while doing this pause you end up with automatically some of your trains, which I don't see that one there, full of people suddenly find themselves, you know, just deeply buried underground for no apparent reason. So, now I've got two connection points for this loop, let's start connecting these stations up. So let's start from over here. Come away, come around, and arc. Next we're heading for 
this one. Across the waters and across the wind. That way, where are we headed? Oh, we should go do that in one long arc. Nice. And now we're heading back for over here. Which hopefully won't give me has given me an altitude problem. Okay. So you're the lowest one coming up and down. Ah, I can cross if I do it nice and close. Which I will endeavour to do so. Right, so, right let's, let's drop that bit of track. 29 degrees. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a new loop for the starfish. So let's create our new track. It goes around our new loop. It should be the starfish circular. So that's one direction. And then it's crab going around the other way. So the idea behind this is essentially that I'm pretty convinced that we don't have the density of metro connections that I would really like at the moment. So metro line number seven is starfish hmm, names clockwise. I've already got clockwise and widdershins and the rest of the other ones. It's koala. This is a starfish district. So let's just call this um, starfish left. You are going to be a pale green. Or is it? Oh, it didn't hit enter. Starfish left. It didn't put the capital in. And starfish right. There we go. So that's two more circular routes, just adding a whole extra layer of complexity. Now let's quickly check our bus lines and make sure we've got bus routes or bus stations close to our metro stops. Yep. That's metro stops quite nice because that passageway leads down into the um, leisure district we've got over here. Do I have any stops nearby here? I don't. Let's put one there, on that line, one there, on that line. Got two stops up over here. Got. I ah, see this did have a stop there. And there's a pair of stops there for that bus at that station there. That's fine. Actually, let's. Remove those two and put them on this side of the road so they're just a little bit closer. And finally, we've got this one over here, which has a stop just around the corner and one over there. So let's just grab a stop, which is opposite there. Grand. Okay, that's that section done. We've now got our major industrial route double connected up. We've got just a little bit more access. So what we had previously is all the people in this district are having to catch the complicated bus route that goes here, getting here. Now, what I'm concerned about is that a lot of these people are going to be driving, so what I want to do is avoid that. Now, <clears throat> the next thing I want to do is have some kind of additional routing around here, because I'm pretty sure that we could probably put another metro station in the middle down here. So I'm going to have the Donkey Woods one come around in a slight loop. Now, what I can do in this case is I can take this station and put it down over here and essentially give it, put it in a position where I can support this. So we'll be grabbing this station and putting it there and reorganizing the lines that come up here to meet it. So let's grab our tube line and we want this one to come off to here and then give me 90 degrees and then carry on so I don't need that section of the line anymore and then 
I should be able to. Drag you to here. Here and then possibly, yeah, click that one so that it goes back so I can actually see the red one properly. Disentangle that one so now I have my roots going back and forth from here. Okay, so now what I want to do is delete that central track. Have you come around this one, the sharper corner than I would like to hear. And then we're done briefly on that one. So what we need to do now is move this train station to the heart of vertebrae parks. There's a perfect stop, the perfect position as it is there. We move it slightly further along. Yeah, let's put it actually underneath the sign that says vertebrae parks. And make sure to rezone the hole I just punched in it. Now we're back with the button of pushing. Let's put a little bit more extra track in. Done. Now we need to connect this line all the way over to here. Is that yep so now they're complaining that they don't have a stop stop back in that stop goes back in those guys are happy now we're at the end of the line there so rather than having these two train lines interfere with each other they're now separate runs so that little loop there that connection there means that anyone on this loop can now connect into vertebrae parks now I am kind of tempted to see what I can do about putting extra stops in along the monkey strip now where do I have stations? There, there, and there. So there is a gap here where I think we could definitely look at putting another station in. So let's take a bit of track out. You're the different direction I want. I want that way around. Now where was the, there wasn't a station here, that's why I can replace it so easily. So there's a bus stop there. Place you. And now we do a little bit of a diversionary tactic where this track uh, comes in like this. Grab the line. Have you stop there? And have you stop there? So now that connection is plugged in there. So we've got an extra stop on the monkey strip. And now we will connect Donkey Woods up to that. Now it's almost getting to the point where I'm thinking about can I just loop the donkey connect line around. I can't necessarily connect it into that rig so easily. I don't really want to bring it out over there so I'm just going to leave it as a partial loop that just goes back and forth so that people can quite easily get around on it. Come out and then come around to there. Grab the lat. Drag you out to this point. Yep, you're grumpy because you just lost your metro station. And now it's back again. Yep, okay, so now we've got an interchange point for there, two, three interchange points on that loop. This line now intersects at two locations. This sits there, we've got two connections with this, with the two koala circles. Don't think we need any more over here, primarily because of all the canals mean I can't actually get another connection in. And this is pretty central for this area. I've got a good connection for here. The potential thought about whether or not I want to put another one in for Donkey Woods, I'll leave that for when we start expanding further up. But overall, I am pretty happy that we've got ourselves a new starfish circle. We've got this bit connected up over here. And we've got the Donkey Connects line is much, much greatly improved. Question is, do we want to put in a station over here? Do we want to put a station in the middle of here? Well, what have we got? We've got 
a lot of bus routes. I mean, this entire area is absolutely covered in bus routes that come back to here. Those bus routes are laid to get to one, two, three, four stations. Pretty sure there's a path that lets you get around to that one. Path that lets you get to this one. These ones have got paths connecting them up this end. Yeah, I think overall I am pretty happy with this. Just a question of whether we want to put any more on our main loop. Uh, yes, yes we could indeed. Let's let's stick a, another station in over here. Connect this up. Basically just trying to provide as much easy connectivity around the city as we possibly can. So there's another one in there. Happy with that loop. Follow it round. The stop for the Avery. We've got the stop for the tourist tourist trap. Don't have the stop for the jellyfish horrors. Stop here. Stop there. Can you get through okay? Nearly. Let's just make that definitively more easier. Can I not knock someone's house down? Turn the snapping off. There we go. And that connects that up to that plaza. So I'm going to make just another ridiculous cliffside you have around for our horses. Nice little constrained area over there. So yes, you can get quite easy from this tourist district up to the Federal Parks metro station. Happy connection here. Got one here, got one there. This long route hauls all the way out over here. That's the bus taxi depot. Could we put a station on the end of here? No, I suspect when we get right, planning for later on, we'll definitely when we put something in here, we can quite easily put a connection and leave that one be. I suspect that this line might end up at some point becoming quite a longer loop that goes around the entire length of it. So this station might end up getting connected to something else later on. But overall, I think I am pretty happy with this. And I am going to call that an episode. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. And this has been an exercise in adding more lengths, making it much, much easier to get around Animalia. Please remember to like and subscribe and to comment below if you have any suggestions on extra bits of the city I've been doing. Is there anything I've missed that you think will be important? And particularly if you've got any ideas for names of districts. We're very much interested in your animal-themed or animal-themed suggestions for places we can name Animalia. Bye for now.